Okay, so I'm going to show you how to connect your Mac up to your Scribbler robot and Flukeboard. First, make sure that your uh, Flukeboard is plugged into your robot. Um, and then what you want to do is turn your robot on and go up to the Bluetooth icon in the upper right corner of your toolbar. You see it right here, the little um, funny Bluetooth logo. And what you want to do is click it and say, oops, click on the Bluetooth logo and say, set up Bluetooth device. So we're going to do that. And we're going to use the wizard. It's going to show you the devices that it can find. And in a minute, it's going to give us um, a number. Here we go, IPRE6-185786. There's some other Macs in the room that I'm in, so it's going to find them too. Um, if you're in a room that has lots of um, lots of scribblers turned on in a classroom or something, you will find this number on a little white sticker with a barcode on it on your fluke board. So you want to look on your fluke board and find the number that corresponds to this sticker. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to um, click on the, on the IPRE device that corresponds to your scribbler robot and hit continue. Okay, when you get to the screen, you need to click on passcode options. Our device actually uses a specific passcode, so click on that, and you want to change this to 1234 and say OK, and then continue. And it says we're in good shape, so now you can say quit. Now, you have to go back up to that Bluetooth menu again and say Open Bluetooth Preferences now. So we're going to click on Open Bluetooth Preferences. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to find in here your, um, your IPRE name here. It should say Not Connected right now. Click on the little gear picture and say Edit Serial Ports. And give it a second. Now it's going to look. It may or may not have something written up here. If it doesn't have something written on here, then click on the plus sign. Mine does. And what you're going to do either way is you're going to take this name and you're going to backspace over it and you're going to change it and you're going to type Scribbler. S-C-R-I-B-B-L-E-R. -B -B -E okay? So you're going to click Scribbler there and then click Apply. And now what you want to do is we want to test and make sure this really works. So let's close the Bluetooth devices. Okay, so now we're going to start up Calico. I'll open up that Calico folder and go to the Start Calico application. It starts bouncing up and down at the bottom. It'll start in a minute. It takes a minute. Meanwhile, make sure your robot's turned on. I had mine off. Um, and what you want to do is in this window, you want to type from Myro import star. And it says OK. And then to connect to the Scribbler robot through the, through the Fluke on a Mac, you type something a little bit different. You're going to type init and then parentheses quote forward slash dev slash tty dot scribbler and then quotes and hit enter and probably by the time you get this software running it won't say scribbler without fluke I actually am using a scribbler with a fluke you can't see it right now because I can't show you my robot but trust me I have a fluke and now you can use Calico to send your robot commands. So for example, I can say go forward at half power, 0 0.5, for one second. And you have to bear with me. You won't see my robot move, but you should hear it. Hang on. There you go. Hope you heard that. 